Good morning. We're ready for our live virtual craft. We have a brand new eight-year-old here with us and Mr. Tucker, who is four and a half. And that's Bryce that you saw earlier. And I am Amy Jackson. And we're, today we're going to be doing a unicorn drawing. So we're going to take you step by step how to draw a fun little unicorn that you can color and draw for your friends or hang on your wall or just for fun. So I'm going to flip this around and we're going to get started. And you can color this however you would like. Mama, I'm, 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 I'm going to start now. Okay, wait, wait. Give me a second, honey. you got to get pencil. So you'll need paper. And I, we're just using computer paper um, and something to color with when we're all done. But you also need a pencil to start drawing with. And then just your willingness to try. Okay, yes, but try not to interrupt me, Tucker, okay? Okay. Thank you. All right. So I have a little bit of a stack of paper just in case we have some need some extras. We are going to fold our paper in half, and this is going to help us kind of know how big we need to draw things. So we're going to fold it in half. Tucker, do you need help? Mm -hmm. All right. And then you're going to fold it in half again the other way. So half and half. So you have, you're going to have four quadrants and then you could, then you can unfold it. Bryce is already ahead. He's been here before. He knew we were going to do this. So there we go. And then you need a nice sharp pencil. And the way we're going to start this, you got it undone, Tucker? All right, and you want to turn your paper a long ways, okay? There you go. Does that work? All right, get your pencil. And you're going to start in this quadrant down here. And you're going to draw a little curved line up to the point. Or you can draw, draw it down. Actually, I think I'm going to start in the middle and draw it kind of curving down. And you don't want to go all the way to the other corner, just um, Mom, almost to the end. I will be happy to help you, but you don't need to whine, okay? Have All right, ready? Okay, well, why don't you just color this one? Does that work? Okay, well, here, hold your pencil and I'll show you. I want you to try to draw it, Tucker, please. What are we asking? Okay, well, then don't do it, I guess. I think you can do it if you try. Remember, part of this is just trying. So the next one is we're going to do like a big round head. And sometimes I like to just practice without drawing anything. So we're going to start about halfway down here. Start a little bit lower than halfway down this little quadrant. Mama and I'm going to, can you please stop interrupting unicorn. me? Yep, you can draw your unicorn however you want. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine. And so it kind of curves around. You got that, Bryce? Okay. So it needs to go a little bit deeper like that, okay? It kind of has a swoopy, smiley face. Very cool, Tucker. That's like your corn. You just have the, the, the horn, don't you? All right, and then about um, halfway down, you're going to draw the rest of the neck. So our unicorn is going to be looking like this. So very nice. Okay. Okay, you need to stop interrupting me, please. Okay, you can color it how you want. All right, now we're gonna draw our eyes, which are gonna curve up. So they're gonna be like, they're closed eyes, so we're gonna kinda have them like little smiley faces, and they're just gonna be nice and apart from each other. And then you can add some eyelashes, okay? Okay, sounds good, Tucker. Very good. Just try your hardest, honey. You don't, you just color it however you want. But your crying and whining is not okay, okay? All right, very good, Bryce. And now we're going to draw the, the nose by going this way. Okay, why don't you just color this one then, please? Okay, L listen to me, Tucker, honey. You drew that shark, and this is a lot a lot easier than the shark, okay? This is a lot harder to me. All right, well, try it again then. It's okay. If you don't want to try it, then don't. But you're interrupting my video. It's hard for me to teach. And we're going to add two little nostrils. Very good. And then we're going to kind of have a little side smile face. She's just kind of a sleepy, smiley unicorn. Or he... 
You're making a lot of noise during my video and then I can't, people might not be able to hear me, okay? Okay, okay, I'll be happy to. All right, Bryce, are you helping him? Are you looking? Oh, yeah. All right, and then we're gonna draw some ears and they're gonna be kind of rounded triangles and one is gonna be in our top right quadrant and it's gonna have another little part inside of it. Okay, honey, give me a second. All right, I'm trying to teach the class and you're being very disruptive. Okay, you promised me you were gonna have good behavior today. Okay, well, you're just, you're, okay. There you go. All right, and then we're gonna have another one over here because we wanna save room for the, the mane and the horn. And mine's, my ear is not super perfect, but I'm okay with that. All right, and then we're gonna have, if you want later on to draw like a little pink cheek on her or him, if it's a him, you might not want cheeks, but that's what I'm gonna do. You could even do a half one over here. So you have like a two little cheeks, okay? So then we're gonna add some mane coming here and I'm gonna have mine kind of going out. So it's, it's almost like little curvy triangles and then one's gonna come down and then we're gonna have some coming out. Okay, good job, Tucker. Very good, I love it. So it's just kind of going every which way and then you draw a line. So that way you have kind of, you can have some more rainbow colors in there if you're gonna color. And then we're gonna add a little main swoop. These are kind of like, she's got some bangs or he. <laughs> cool. And then this is gonna go, you're gonna try to swoop it all the way down to the ear. So now what do you do? And then, Okay, give me a second, Tucker. I'll help you in a minute. And then, so this is gonna be like a nice kind of swoopy bangs, all right? <laughs> so we'll connect that later. Yes, okay, Tucker, good job. That's your horn, okay. So here, look, good job. All right, so we're gonna draw the ears, okay? You're doing a good job, honey, okay? and your eyes and then you can do your I want a boy. Okay. And erase the eyelashes. Here you want to draw the eyes. You can do like the baby shark eyes. Remember the circles within the circles? You want to do that? And then if you want you can add hearts or stars. Oh, the horn. Oh, we need the horn. Oops, sorry. I'm getting distracted here. So, the horn is going to be like a nice tall triangle. And then you kind of start at the top and you almost do like a S shape going down. And it's gonna make your, your, and you wanna go from one side all the way to the other. Or like Bryce, I like the way Bryce did it. Can I show him yours? So there's no right or wrong way. You could even just do stripes. Very nice, Bryce, I love it. And then now you are, it's time to color. So you can color it however you want. Oh, Tucker, that's perfect. Look at Tucker's, everyone. Look how good his is. Sorry, I have my water in the way. I have three eyes, see? Uh, three eyes. Well, you can erase. Very nice. Okay, so I'm going to do, I'm going to outline my unicorn in a pink marker, I think, if it works. Mom, I'm going to erase one of my eyes because it wasn't what you want. Ah, yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I like it though. Draw mine in black because it's gonna be a boy. Okay, sounds good. Oh, that's a black, and I thought it was good. <laughs> but it's good. Good job. 
So I'm just outlining all my pencil marks to cover them up. And then I like to color things, outline a marker and then color it in crown. But you can always paint or um, just color it all in crown, color it all in marker. That is totally up to you. I like it. I'm going to draw some stars with some yellow. Ooh, these are two tipped markers. So. And this is his fur. And this is his hair. And cool. Very good. So my this main... One. I prefer Andrea for. See? Very nice. Main part of the unicorn is going to be pink, but then I'm going to do like rainbow hair. I'm going to make her, her snout a little bit of a different color. I'm not sure what yet, but. So I try to color in one direction. I made my unicorn. And then another direction over top of it. I kind of made my unicorn a little different, but I still did it. Very good. Yeah, different but I got it. So, uh, yeah, honey, you're okay. So, um, we have been sharing these on Facebook every Tuesday. Um, that might change because school's starting back up, and it just depends on the schedule with my kids. Um, but we do record them, so you can always come back and watch them later. Um, ooh, I got a sparkle metallic color crown I'm going to use on her snout here. Um, and if you want, we also have all sorts of videos on our YouTube channel. I'm trying to record everything we do virtual. So even adult classes and right now we're just doing donations. So if you, I'm talking Tucker, if you, um, would like to make a donation to Chestnut Creek School of the Arts, you can go to www.chestnutcreekarts.org and backslash donate or there you can find the donate tab pretty easy. Um, and you also see we have a page. I'm trying to update that with um, our virtual classes just embedded um, under the Learn tab, under virtual. Ooh, look at Bryce's. He's all done. Oh, here. Very nice. Oh, that looks good, buddy. I love it. Um, so you can kind of go back and see the backlog. I don't have anything scheduled yet for next week. Um, I've, I've got to figure out what I'm going to teach and when, if it's going to be a Wednesday or not. So we just started virtual school with our boys and I just kind of wanted a little bit, um, of, to figure out how things were going to start flowing before I committed to the next class, but we will do something. It might just be a random class next week. Random time, I should say. So, um, you just color this however you like. I'm kind of doing rainbowy colors. That yellow was bright neon, which it did not look like it when I grabbed it. Um, and crown broke. Blue. This is almost like an indigo color. I'm gonna get mom. Is it okay to have some? Color and of course, honey. There's a, a colors are really just for everyone to love. They're not just boy or girl colors. Mm -hmm. So this could be a boy, boy pony. Just all, all boys have eyelashes too. So I wanted to go a little bit more because I kind of did not do the prettiest job. All right, where's orange? I need an orange. Orange. I might do orange over here. Oops. My, I am breaking my crowns left and right. I don't know if it's because I'm trying to hold them funny under the video or what. But if y'all have any questions or requests on what to do, um, I'm happy to take requests on teaching. Uh, you know, I want to teach what you guys want to learn. I am talking, buddy. Good job. And so um, just you can comment on this video or you can email me um, whatever you would like. So I'm sorry, what took her? I didn't wash. Now okay. I'm doing that one again. Good job. So, um, 
but I am happy to do whatever, whatever you guys would like to learn. So I'm just kind of going down through the rainbow colors here. Um, I might use a little purple in here. Washing their <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Sadie. I just kicked my doggy under the table in accident. Um, after that, I want to do pink. Good girl, Sadie. Good girl. Um, and then I'll just start my rainbow colors again. Blue, green, yellow, orange, red. It's a big crown. And purple. Sparkly purple. I can go back and make it look a little bit neater if I wanted to. I just want to give it. So, there's our beautiful unicorn, and I could always color the background too. So, there you go. The more you practice um, drawing things, the better you get. So, it's always good to try drawing new things. Um, that way, you kind of train your hand how to look. At different things and draw them and it's always good just to look at and random things and draw too good job all right so we'll show you tuckers before we sign off here say hi bye tucker um, okay all right and then here's prices and there you have it are you all good oh very beautiful tucker i love it Awesome job. You're pretty proud. You had a rough start, but you finished it strong, huh? You still have some more to color? No? Nope. Okay. I've got this after it's now.